All right, five mana Jarvan's not bad. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Shen. We're gonna be uh, playing this deck again. This one's a, a very, very good deck. One of the better decks in the metagame. Um, I think Jarvan in particular is really well posi positioned against Sivir and Ruin Runner and stuff like that, being able to come in and, and challenge them and just get through the spell shield. Um, I think Barrier is really well positioned against those kind of decks. So we, we get this is going to be our fourth deck today. We did have a donation. That's that's the, the four D, the uh, two Ds here. All four decks today were donation decks. We had a donation. Try out Jarvan Shen again. A couple of new cards in here. We're going to be playing two copies of Scattered Pod, where we get to choose which. Uh, speed of spell we would like to draw a slow a fast or a burst we can take we have one slow spell in here with golden ages so we can just take golden ages whenever you know with it if we want um that can give us barrier and rally and attack again with shen that works out really well if we don't need golden ages we could choose fast if we want we have two fast spells we have one concerted strike and two copies of single combat those are the fast spells, so they are you know removal spells. Like if we need a single combat slash concerned strike, right? We need a removal spell. We can choose that. And then there's burst, uh, which is probably the one we won't be choosing, but that would be spirits refuge, repost, twin disciplines, and sharp sight. So those are going to be the spells in the deck. Another uh, cool new card is green glade lookout. We haven't really played green glade lookout in this kind of deck before, but I think it makes sense in here. Every time it strikes, reduces the cost of the most expensive unit in your hand by one. And we do have some expensive units. We can reduce the cost of Jarvan or Scatterpod or Bright Steel Formation, Screeching Dragon Chen, right? Like reducing the cost of any of those is a uh, plus. So we're going to have some Green Glade Lookouts. And of course, we'll have different ways to protect Green Glade Lookout as well if we want to. So let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and go back to an old classic. Well, I guess Fiora Shen is kind of the more classic, but now. Uh, it is Jarvan with how good Jarvan is in this metagame. So Jarvan Shen. Let's go play five games in ranked. Lots and lots of Twisted Fate Swain today. Lots of Twisted Fate Swain today. To be honest, I kind of just like this hand. I think the Screeching Dragon and Jarvan are both good cards for this matchup. I'm just going to kind of keep it. I know it's not like I don't have like all sorts of like low cost spells and I'm keeping some expensive stuff, but it's okay to be a little bit slower in this matchup. Like they're going to want to interact a lot. So it's okay to be a little slower. I should probably be mulliganing the Jarvan though out of all the, well, I don't know. Jarvan's good. Jarvan's definitely killing something whenever it's coming in, right? Like they're not going to really stop it with it having the barrier. changes but never breaks basically didn't want to make mega rain too good by playing the fleet feather tracker also tracker is a card that you know i would have mulliganed because it it dies too easily deal me in Hoping River Shaper survives. Well, I could use the Bright Steel Protector on it. It's just not a very good use of Bright Steel Protector, so I'm not going to do that. Wow. All right, so the only reason to do that is, like, you have another Twisted Fate, right? Like, that's got to be another Twisted Fate. Has to be another twist of fate. So I play Shen, they go red card. If I play Screeching Dragon, they could still go red card. If they have red card plus Flock, that's quite annoying. But I would rather that happen to Screeching Dragon than Shen. I'd rather keep Shen alive. Okay. Basically getting this to 5 health where 
flock doesn't kill it immediately. Pretty even looking game right now. I got five cards, they got five cards, just one of mine's in play. But it's damaged, so they got Scorched Earth and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, no flock. At least not yet. I don't change fate, and I can see it. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Playing Shen gives me Concerted Strike still, where if I play Screeching Dragon, we don't have Concerted Strike still. Where are you, spirit? It is possible, not necessarily likely, but it is possible that I may need to Concerted Strike this uh, Powder Keg. I've worked out something special. It's now more possible. This'll send them running. Immediately. So we can just assume Mega Rain's gonna be coming down. I don't really like you're not having oh that's a card okay I was gonna say I don't really like playing the Jarvan and not having the Conservative Strike available and obviously we're gonna assume they want to guillotine this Screeching Dragon that was a really nice guillotine I was expecting you know like Scorched Earth Can't even just do this. Can't give him guillotine. All right, good turn for them, but we have the same number of cards in hand. And we have a better board. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. That's not worth it, right? I'm a people person. Saving Concerted Strike for Leviathan, of course. Got a surprise for him. Shield up. <laughs> Blocking while that thing has life steal. This would be two out of three for Jarvan. Clear off. For the flag. A conquest for empire. All right, not not amazing right now. At least they're out of. Sorry, at least they are out of what's it called Twisted Face, right? I think we killed all three. Pretty sure we killed all three. I guess they had another one. Who says I don't share? Such little lies. 
All right, never mind. I guess they had, they had another one. Witness strength. Turrets pull them down. I will break them. That hurts. That hurts quite a bit. Break their spirits and their swords. It's about as good of a draw as we could possibly hope for. But it's game over. Doesn't matter if I give it life steal and stuff. We take the one. All right, good game. Silver LeBlanc. I like this matchup for us too. Hey, Scattered Pod. You'd have been nice to have last game, but I think this game I'm sending you back. Hello. A lot of cards really lined up well for my opponent last game, which means that I didn't sequence my cards well enough since that happened. I hate having to put my face on. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. I walk the space between worlds. I didn't want to block in Twin Disciplines and then they, they just play the plus three, plus one. Seven damage to a follower? Yeah, I guess so. Enforced equilibrium. Wasted effort. So they have the plus three, plus one, they'll at least just trade. Yeah, I thought they did. Alright, so they trade and LeBlanc does not get to level up. Those are positives. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. They are a card ahead of me. Patrol one, patrol two, patrol three. Hmm. So if I attack, we're putting Jarvan into play, which would still would just be zero out of three, and kind of a waste of a Jarvan. Slow gets me Golden Ages. I think I'd rather have a Burst Spell than the Golden Ages. Like I'd rather have. Basically, we're most likely drawing Sharp Sight or Twin Disciplines. I think I'd rather have those. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe you're supposed to just always take the full natism. Not sure. Cool. I do like this four mana Jarvan. It's gonna make it easier to golden ages plus put in Jarvan. You know, I'd rather rather get this River Shaper in play and like Golden Ages of the River Shaper. You're moving or you're dead. But now they play the Ruin Runner. I guess we're yeah, we're doing this. It's too bad. Means no Jarvan. Scared of a fair fight? Come on, spell. Not a spell. So attack, put in Jarvan. Yeah, that's just the best thing. I don't really want to do the plus three on, on this, make it an eight two and try to go for lethal because it's just 
too easily broken up by a variety of cards. So yeah, while I could we could attempt lethal, I think that's too risky. Yeah. And that's what they were considering is what to do with their whirling death. Ours is what to do and die. Alright, so we've killed two Ruin Runners. And a LeBlanc, so we've killed three champions so far. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Unfortunately, they get to play a lot more than three. Magic. I go where the trouble is. It's never too far. So we should just be playing two Bright Seal Protectors, or Bright Seal Formations. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. It is me! All right, so everything has quick attack, overwhelm, spell shield. Who does not know the name Laurent? Looks like this is likely game over. Can't, I can't beat any spell they have. I guess I guess if they have spells, I lose. We're gonna be probably losing anyway, though. There's not many cards that we can beat right now. Too many champions over there. GG's Merciless Hunter, Ruin Runner. Alright, only two. Yes, yeah, so that, that game really displayed why I really, really don't like the Golden Ages plan. Basically, Golden Ages cost us that game. It's it just didn't it didn't do anything, right? So it's like a four mana barrier card, which the barrier cards are supposed to be really good in that matchup. But it, it's just slow speed that doesn't affect combat. Like, if that's Golden Ages is repost, that game's completely different. That's why I just kind of like playing like repost and deny and stuff. You know, like if we could deny some of those fight spells, just those kind of cards. So I'm not, I'm not convinced the whole scatter pod Golden Ages thing is any good. Still not convinced of that yet. We're going to need cheaper cards. But I think I want the twin disciplines. I'm not sure about. Like I'm keeping the protector protege. I was trying to think of what to do with this. With this twin disciplines, the flea feather tr tracker was the perfect card to draw. This is perfect here. Because that allows me to enable this bright steel protector for the next round formation. Formation good. Deal is yours. Golden Ages is what I like to call a win more card for this style attack. The only thing about single combat there, we lose a card, but they don't get to, you know, like they just predicted something on top. They don't get to get that lurk. I don't know. I can see doing that. We'd be left with four cards, they're left with four cards. It's really like, is this card pike, right? Like, if that card's pike, then we want to do that. I'll hold on to it. Who does not know the name Laurent?
Well, if we have Golden Ages in our deck, let's go ahead and play it. This could be a spot for it right here. right there. Okay. Rek'Sai also an option. Okay, I'll take it. I was planning on, you know, going going with Jarvan this round. Okay, so they have a Rek'Sai in their hand. Die. That's a long time. Four go down to eight. Sorry, Shen. With me. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. They kind of have to just take all of it. They can't really play anything right here, but it's not lethal, right? Like we're one point away from having lethal. Okay. That works as well. I'm I'm happy they played that because then I get to use this cataclysm. Basically, you know, I just traded. Like if they don't play anything at all, you know, I traded the protege for that thing. Now, probably like looking at their mana and realizing they can't really, you know, play that with other stuff next round anyway. So it just takes out a, a two four blocker. Rek'Sai's killing me. Ooh, another Rek'Sai on top. This is why you play Bright Steel Formation, though. It just will win games. We'll simply win games. No quarter. Do. Good, good job, Bright Steel Formation. Fine work, and we're one and two. Fine work. This will be a tough one. Sejuani game playing. Um, they can bust up some barriers. They got Frostbite. Frostbite's good against barriers. It's going to be a tough one. Golden Ages is out of here as fast as possible. Twin Disciplines. I think I'm going to send it back. I think we're going to. Let's look for some units first. It's a fine spell. 
but we can, you know, we have sharp sights and stuff. Like, we'll find other spells that are very similar to it. If I attack, they block with the 2 2. And then they get a free open attack with the Corsair. So basically, saved one point of damage by not. By not attacking there. And plus, we made this scatter pod cost one less now. Success gets you noticed around here. Okay, that Yeah. So I mean they're 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 turning on plunder, right? Like that's that's like their whole goal is to turn on plunder. Alright, we already have both of our slow spells. We've gotten two of the three fast spells, so this would get us a single combat for the other fast spell, or I take burst, and we likely get twin disciplines. It's the most likely card. So twin disciplines, sharp sight, spirits refuge, or single combat. Let's get him, crew. Make it worth my while. I'm just do lots of attack in. Son of a The scatter pod <laughs> gonna do lots of work for me. Keep suiting it up. Yeah, Lurk is a weird deck, isn't it? It's a high variance deck. That's a good card. You own what you take. River shape the land and give it life. Born for conquest. I don't really know why I had to play the River Shaper first. I probably shouldn't. Probably should have kept like Sharp Side available. Oh my gosh, Spirit's Refuge. Oh, man. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, so they have two... The two ways to deal Nexus damage that just frostbites the team. There's one. Oh man, Spirit's Refuge. Can't play around everything, I guess. Ages again does nothing. Golden Ages is the worst card in our deck for sure. I think we're displaying, even though I'm not really winning, I think we're displaying why the Golden Ages scatter pod plan is not a good plan. I think we're showing the weakness of that plan. Alright, this is a very good Jarvan matchup. Let's keep the Jarvan with these lookouts. They make this Jarvan cost less. <laughs> they just will not. 
We just can't have a, a game where we just don't draw these Golden Ages. Well, tracker could do some work. Yeah, Frostbite always good against this kind of deck. It's so maybe back to being a, a good Notify met metagame. Like, I like Deny. I always like Deny, but maybe back to like a pretty decent Notify metagame as well. We've been playing against lots and lots of Bilgewater today. He's making Rain really popular today. I didn't walk into any traps. You've got a problem, I've got a price. I've got your back. So I'm willing to do this considering we're gonna have Jarvan next I round. I drill two. I drill three. Willing to kinda of waste quote unquote waste the Bright Steel Protector, not getting any good value from it. Alright, five mana Jarvan's not bad. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. So Golden Ages is gonna be good next round, but that, that's what it kinda means. Like Golden Ages is basically like a win more card, right? Like you're ahead. Then is gonna make a meal. Yeah, go ahead and Golden Ages once you're ahead. Life will be good. Once more, soldier of Demacia! Alright, GG's. Okay, so two and three, respectable record. Raise our banners. Demacia Not bad, two and three. I know a lot of people are really, really on Scatter Pot. A lot of people really like it, but I was just not impressed with it. I know the whole point is like you you can use it to draw Golden Ages, but I was just not impressed with, with that at all. I just wasn't really happy with Golden Ages. It was kind of costing us some games of like if it's like repo if the Golden Ages were repost or deny they would have been better. So I wasn't too thrilled about that part of the deck. I played Jarvan Chen before that I liked. What did I have? Yeah, so I had like the Sacred Protector instead. And honestly, I, I think I'd, I'd just prefer Sacred Protector. Like, would you rather draw Golden Ages or would you rather draw Shen? Well, I'd rather draw Shen. Shen's going to be a better card than Golden, than Golden Ages. And then you can also just have like this random thing of like barrier and double attack, which could be really powerful. It does cost one extra mana, but you have Jarvan at the six mana slot anyway. Um, I was happy, you know. So we, had, I, so I guess I had Green Glade Caretakers instead of the Lookouts. Lookouts were were fine, but Caretaker can also just be kind of crazy. I love Prismatic Barrier though these days, right? So I had, I just had a lot more uh, burst spells like Sharp Sight, Twin Disciplines, Prismatic Barrier. There's more kind of protection. I guess I, I was only playing two Screeching Dragon, no Concerted Strike. Yeah, I I, I liked I liked this list um, more whenever we had that the other day. It felt it just felt pow more powerful. I think that uh, the three mana um, Prismatic Barrier is pretty nice these days. Like or just you know like if you're trying to curve out like River Shape or Shen, like you'll have like your three spell mana. And so I really like the prismatic barrier there. I don't think I I don't think I had Protege and River Shaper both three ofs, did I? Like this is a lot of units. I don't think I had three of, of both of those. I did. Okay, never mind. Okay. So I yeah, 25-15. I do like that 25-15 ratio. I've kind of liked that in, in this Demacia Ionia deck 25-15 a lot. We're at 26-14, so just one one extra because I, I took out one screeching dragon that was like the one change so yeah i think i'd i think i'd recommend trying that one out so if you if you like this deck try try out the sacred protector instead of scatter pod um and is sacred protector the absolute best no not really but i, I was trying it out i liked it more than king jarvan king jarvan's another option so you have sacred protector king jarvan you can go one of each if you want if you want to play like one scatter pod one to just kind of switch up the mana cost a scatter pod and sacred protector you can try that the main thing, though, let's see, get rid of you, get rid of you, and 
was getting prismatic barriers. Three mana barrier is really underrated. I, I don't know too many other people that play it, but I am just always so happy to have three mana barrier. And then no concerted strike and a deny instead. I would I would definitely recommend changing those four cards. Get prismatic barriers and a deny and try that out. And then if you want to keep your scatter pod cool, we just made it like where a scatter pod doesn't really have anything in particular that it's tutoring for. So you know you can try out the other stuff. Could also just play two bright steel formation. That's a card that will just win games. You know, these all these top end cards are great. <laughs> you know, so you can kind of play play what you like, whatever you like. You want to play play one of those, one of those, one of those. Go ahead. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it here for Jarvan Shen Pod. Maybe with these lookouts, maybe it is better to play like a second one of these because because formation is just so ridiculous. With look, and then you know you'll have it in your hand more often, but then you'll have the lookout to reduce the cost. That's Jarvan Shen. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck and these changes in Scatterpod. Like what, what's what's your impression of Scatterpod? Um, you know, do you do you think it's absolutely amazing? What do you what do you think of Scatterpod? Um, love to hear that over there. Um, also if you got anything about Prismatic Barrier, <laughs> let me know because I'm just a huge, huge fan of three mana barrier. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it. Alright, so thank you so much for watching some Jarvan Shen. And I'll see you for the next video.